Hi, in this video we are going to discuss about ionic bond. Ionic bond. Ionic bond means electrostatic force of attraction between positively charged metal and negatively charged non-metal. Electrostatic force of attraction between positively charged metal and uh, negatively charged non-metal called um, ionic bond. You know metals with outer shell one or two or three electron they lose electron metals with outer shell one or two or three electron they losing electron okay and non metals with outer shell five or six or seven they receive electron they receiving electron clear so look here you have to see some example for metals with outer shell outer shell one or two or three electron here sodium atomic number 11 first shell two second shell eight third shell one first shell two second shell eight okay third shell one electron and and here another example magnesium atomic number 12 2 8 2 Aluminium atomic number 13283. So here outer shell 1 electron, outer shell 2, outer shell 3. Okay, outer shell 1 or 2 or 3, they lose electron. So here sodium losing 1 electron, then sodium changes to Na plus. And the magnesium lose 2 electron here, then it changes to Mg2 plus and here aluminium lose three electron then it changes to al3 plus clear so atoms with outer shell one or two or three electron they losing electron here sodium lose one electron na plus magnesium mg2 plus aluminium al3 plus this is the case of metal clear next we can check here what happened in non-metals so metals positive charge okay next one non-metals 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 with the outer shell five or six or seven they receive electron okay so here five six seven you know here outer shell always try to make eight always try to make eight so here outer shell with the five electron they receive three more electron here receive two more electron here one one plus seven eight two plus six eight three plus five eight they are trying to make eight electron non-metals receive electron metals lose electron after losing electron positive charge after receiving electron negative charge see here example for non-metals Fluorine, atomic number 9, first shell 2 electron, second shell 7 electron. And uh, oxygen, atomic number, atomic number 8, 2,6. Nitrogen, atomic number 7, 2,5. So, outer shell with the 7 receive one more electron. Fluorine receive one electron, then it will be F minus. Here 6 electron receive 2 more electron. You have to remember after receiving 1 electron atom gain atom gets 1 negative charge. After receiving 2 electron atom gets 2 negative charge. After receiving 3 electron 3 negative charge. Clear. Now oxygen outer shell 6 electron. Oxygen receive 2 electron then it will be O2 minus. Nitrogen receive 3 electron, then it will be N3 minus. You understand? So here, so here, uh, uh, metals lose electron, non-metals gain electron. Then, this type of positively charged metals and negatively charged non-metals attracting each other this type of attractive force is called electrostatic force 
Electrostatic force of attraction between positively charged metal and negatively charged non-metal called ionic bond. Clear? After this, next point we have to discuss here properties of ionic bond. Uh, before properties of ionic bond, we have to discuss here different examples of ionic bond. Different examples. See here, sodium chloride, potassium chloride, sodium oxide, potassium oxide, magnesium oxide, sodium nitride. These are the examples we are going to discuss here. First one, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Okay, so sodium chloride, we know here sodium atomic number 11, 2, 8, 1. Chlorine atomic number 17. So here, 17, 2, 8, 7. Okay, so here sodium lose electron and chlorine gain one electron. We can draw here sodium 2, 8, 1. 1. Chlorine atomic number 17, 2, 8, 7. Chlorine 2, 8, 7. Okay. Sodium chlorine. We use X to represent electrons of sodium, O to represent electrons of chlorine. Here 2, 8, 1. Here 2, 8, 7. Okay. 2, 8, 7. 2, 8, 1. So sodium transfer one electron to chlorine. After transfer one electron from sodium to chlorine, sodium will turn to Na plus and chlorine turns to Cl minus. Clear? This is ionic bond in sodium chloride. Okay. Now let us check here how to do here how to do here potassium chloride you know potassium atomic number 19 so 2881 2881 we have to draw potassium 2881 then we will draw chlorine 287 okay then we will uh, we will were one electron from sodium to chlorine. After that, potassium will change to K plus and chlorine will turn to Cl minus. Same like sodium chloride. Here it will be 2881. Here it will be 287. After transferring electron, it will be 288. This will be 288. After. Before it was 287. Now 288. Before 2881, after transferring electron 288. Clear? Next exam, next example here sodium oxide. Sodium oxide. Okay, sodium oxide Na2O, sodium nitride Na Na3N. We can check how to get formula, how to balance chemical equation. We can we can do another video. Okay, now you can check here how to draw ionic bond for this type of compound. Here you have sodium oxide, sodium oxide. Okay, so here sodium oxide formula here Na2O. So we have to draw two sodium and one oxygen. 2 sodium and 1 oxygen according to the formula okay so here 2 sodium we have to draw here and 1 oxygen 
sodium N2281. Okay. And oxygen 26. Here it is 281. 2 8 1 here it is 2 6 okay this is 2 8 1 this is 2 6 so one electron transfer from each sodium atom to oxygen after transferring electron sodium Na plus oxygen O2 minus how many sodium here? Two sodium. So we will draw here two Na plus. Clear? Same way you can do here potassium oxide. You can draw two potassium and one oxygen. Here it will be 2881. Here it will be 26. And one electron transfer from each potassium to oxygen. After that, it will change to K plus. K plus O2 minus. Okay, here how many K plus? 2K plus. Okay. Okay, after this, next example magnesium oxide. Next example magnesium oxide. MgO magnesium oxide magnesium oxide here one magnesium and one oxygen so simply you can draw here uh, one magnesium and one oxygen before that you have to know magnesium atomic number 12 2 8 2 oxygen 2 6 you can use X for magnesium O for oxygen clear so magnesium here 2 8 282 oxygen it is 26 282 here it is 26 one electron two electron transferring because here magnesium outer shell two electron Two electron will be transferred from magnesium to oxygen finally magnesium turns to mg2 plus oxygen change to o2 minus this is ionic bond in magnesium oxide clear after that we have to check here sodium nitride sodium nitride after magnesium oxide next one sodium nitride sodium nitride here three sodium and one nitrogen so we have to draw here three sodium one two three three sodium and one nitrogen clear and you know 281 is the electronic configuration of sodium 281 and nitrogen out uh, atomic number 7 so it will be 25 25 okay here it is 281 281 here it will be 25 so one electron will be transferred from each sodium okay here e all sodium atoms are 281 this is 25 it need three more electron so one electron from each sodium atom so here sodium lose one electron nitrogen getting three electron from each sodium atom finally sodium change to na plus 
nitrogen change to N3 minus. Okay, how many sodium here? 3 sodium. So 3Na plus and N3 minus. This is ionic bond for sodium nitride. After this next one we have to check here properties of ionic bond. Properties of ionic bond. Properties. Here properties of ionic bond. First one ionic bond ionic compounds. Okay, properties of ionic compounds. Ionic compounds, they have high melting and boiling point. High melting and boiling point. Ionic compounds dissolving the water and passing electricity. Ionic compound dissolving the water and pass electricity. Means they act as electrolyte. Ionic compounds, uh, molten ionic compound, they form ions. Molten ionic compound, ionic compounds, they are crystalline solid state. This is another property. Most of the ionic compounds are crystalline solid. Crystalline solid. Okay. Here, ionic compound, they are solid state. On strong heating, they form ions. They form ions. This ions pass electricity. Means they act as electrolyte. Okay. They have high melting and boiling point. They are crystalline solid. Okay. Here, another point. Here, another point. Ionic compounds formed by transfer of electron. Transfer of electrons. So, I will repeat again. Ionic compounds, they have high melting and boiling point. Okay. And they are highly soluble in water and they act as electrolyte. Molten ionic compound pass electricity. Molten ionic compounds pass electricity. Most of the ionic compounds are crystalline solid state. Ionic compounds formed by transfer of electron. Ionic compound formed between metal and non-metal. Metal and non-metal. These are the different properties of properties of ionic compounds. They have a high melting and boiling point. They are highly soluble in water, molten compound paths, electricity, crystalline solid. They are formed by transfer of electron and ionic compound formed between metal and non-metal. Clear? Thank you for watching this channel. Please subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos. Thank you.